on the Lord's Day. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless the word that we just read. Open up our hearts and our minds to hear your word spoken directly to our hearts. I pray this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So we just read this text from Matthew 13 on the kingdom. And, um, I want to open up some things to, uh, to show us what this word should mean in our lives today. The world continues to be amazed by the events in the Middle East. We see news of wars and pictures and videos of atrocities almost as soon as they happen. It's shocking, and it should be. To see this news of what seems to be the rise of radical Islam. And their efforts to impose their will, their ideology over our world. We see men being burned alive and Christians beheaded for their faith in their Lord Jesus. Like this parable in Matthew 13, our world is full of weeds. We see the problem of sex slavery all over the world. We see volunteers and leaders in orphanages that give in to their uh, give in to their sin and try to make money instead of protecting children. After floods and earthquakes, Christians are often called out to go and help in these communities. Yet thieves pick up those belongings and, and steal things from these people that have lost everything. Among the heroes that are trying to help, there are vultures just waiting to pounce on the weak and the helpless. Weeds among the wheat. When I have free time, I like to garden at our house and grow some fruits and vegetables. But because I really don't often have enough time, more often that than not, my garden gets full of weeds. But this passage isn't really talking about our gardens. It's talking about God's garden and His creation of His kingdom on earth and His kingdom to come. So I want to open up three key points as you see on the screen that this uh, passage of scripture talks about. And the first one is that we wait on God in the presence of weeds. As we read, Matthew 13, 28 tells us what the Master told His servants. He said to them, An enemy has done this. So the servant said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? 
嗯、呃，他告诉仆人，这些是坏人，呃，撒了这些杂草的种子啊。仆人就问他，你想让我们去把啊、呃、这个杂草掳出来吗 ？Jesus tells us that the the servants didn't understand how these weeds sprang up, and they didn't know what to do about it. 嗯，耶稣告诉我们，这些仆人并不知道这些啊、呃、杂草是怎么出来的，也不知道怎么弄这些杂草。The servants seem to be surprised by these weeds. 啊、uh, ，这些仆人们好像对这些味，呃，这些杂草在土里长出来，觉得很吃惊。Isn't that often our response when we're surprised by a problem? 当我们感到我们周围的有啊、uh, 各种各样问题的时候，我们是不是也像这些仆人一样吃惊呢 ？Sometimes we just want to take action quickly. 有时候我们就想马上行动。It be it would be like us saying, "Let us just wipe out all the evil in the world." Then we can all just get along. 就像我们经常所说的，我们就把世上的所有的恶人都铲除，我们自己就得太平了。On the surface, I kind of like that idea. 啊，开始的时候我觉得，哎，这是个不错的主意。Wouldn't it be great if we could just rid the world of all evils? 我们能够把这个世界上所有的罪恶都铲除，那该多好。But where is the line between sinners that are truly able or evil and just plain people? That are suffering from evil in their lives or from sin in their lives. I'm sorry. 但是如何来区别那些要被铲除的那些恶人和一般的平常人因为自己的罪而受到这些灾难呢 ？I'm talking about people like you and I. We're not that bad, right? 就像你我一样，我们并不是很坏的人。Certainly, there are some weeds in the world who truly deserve to be pulled up by the roots. 当然，在这个世界上。确实有那种杂草是一定要把它们铲除的。ISIS or ISIL certainly feel seem to fit that category. ISIS 当然是他们。They have no tolerance for anyone that has views unlike theirs. 他们对那些不同意见的人是一点点容忍都没有。So that's pretty easy to choose that. They have no desire to negotiate. 啊，很很明显，他们根本就没有谈判的意愿。So the governments of the world need to go after these terrorists and snuff them out. So, the world's government should go after these terrorists and snuff them out. So, the world's government should go after these terrorists and snuff them out. So, the world's government should go after these terrorists and snuff them out. So, the world's government should go after these terrorists and snuff them out. So, the world's government should go after these terrorists and snuff them out. So, the world's government should go after these terrorists and snuff them out. So, the world's government should go after these terrorists and snuff them out. But Jesus says no. 但是耶稣说不。In Matthew 13:29, he says this. 在马太福音十三章二十九节说。No, he answered, because while you're pulling the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. 嗯，他主人说不必这样掳稗子，恐怕连麦子也拔出来了。Let's look briefly at the context of this parable. 啊，我们看仔细看一下这个内容。The Greek word zizania, that is here translated as weeds, is referring to a special kind of weed known as bearded darnel. Ah, this Slavic word about this ah weed or this grass of this represents is a special kind of grass. This weed looks very much like wheat when it's growing. This grass looks very much like wheat when it's growing. In fact, it's very hard to tell it from real wheat until it starts to bear grain. When they grow, 直到他们能结出这个麦粒的时候，你才能把麦子跟稗子分开来。Look again at verse twenty-six. 我们看一下二十六节。Says when the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. 他说到了长苗吐穗的时候，稗子也显出来。Until the plants are mature, it really remains hard to tell them apart. 直到它们长熟之前，我们很难区别它们。And additionally, the seeds of this darnel are actually narcotic. Ah, this weed's this seed is actually addictive. So if they're ground up with wheat in large quantities, they can actually cause death. If they, is, if they are ground up with wheat in large quantities, they can actually cause death. If they are ground up with wheat in large quantities, they can actually cause death. If they are ground up with wheat So the people that Jesus was explaining this parable to would have understood the nature of these weeds and the danger that they caused. Ah, 像那些啊农民们，基耶稣基督给他们讲这个比喻的那些农民们，他们清楚这个稗子这个种子的危害。This false false wheat would have been competing with the true wheat. 
而这个假的麦子会跟真的麦子一起来抢营养。They were, would be competing for moisture, for soil nutrition, for sunlight, for everything. 他们跟真的麦子一道来抢阳光、抢雨水、抢土地里面的营养。So they would have understood that whoever scattered these weed seeds was a true enemy, meant to inflict harm on the landowner and at least economic hurt against him. 他们也就明白这些偷偷撒稗子种子在地里的是真的坏人。Jesus tells us that we have weeds right here inside the church. 耶稣基督告诉我们，我们就在这个我们这个教会里面也有稗子。We have weeds that those who work against kingdom purposes. 而那些稗子是完全来抵挡神的国度。And we exist side by side with them as we seek to build the kingdom. 我们在一起来建造我们国度的时候，我们跟他们在一起。Now, of course, it's up to the elders of this church to expose those people who are obvious in their efforts to work against the kingdom. 当然，这是在国，呃，这是在教会的领袖和长老们来，呃，把这些，呃，抵挡神国度的这些败子显露出来。But great care must be taken when we're doing this. 但是，当我们要做这件事情的时候，我们必须有相当的小心。When we make hasty judgments and malicious attempts to up uproot those who don't think like us or act like us, we can damage ourselves in the process. 如果我们呃急功近利或者马上想那把那些跟我们想法不一样的人揪出来的时候，我们可能会损害到我们自己。So unless we see a blatant disregard for God's will, how are we to know who is righteous and who isn't? 嗯，除了那些人很明显的来反对神的呃旨意的时候，我们怎么能够呃区别这些败子和麦子呢 ？Because I am also tainted with sin, I have flawed judgment. 因为我是一个罪人，所以我有时候也会呃做出一些错误的决定。Unless I'm really careful, this makes it very likely that I'm going to end up pulling up some weed, some wheat, while I'm trying to pull up weeds. 除非我特别小心，否则的话，当我拔出这个稗子的时候，我有可能也可也要伤到那些麦子。We're not the masters of others; it's God that changes the hearts of people. 我们并不是其他人的主人，只有神来改变人心。It is up to us to continue proclaiming truth. 啊、嗯，这是我们一直来宣讲神的真理，这是我们的责任。Whether that's up here as leaders or even in your own small groups as you study God's word together. 就像我们在教会的领袖，甚至我们各个组的小组长，我们一直在宣讲神的话语。Sometimes we just have to wait on God to change people's hearts. 我们呃有时候我们要等到神的工作来改变人的内心。My testimony of coming to faith in Jesus as my Savior and Lord included much waiting by the people in my small group. 我信主的，在我的信主的经历当中，我的小组的人就非常的有耐心，等了我很长时间。And I'm very thankful that they were patient with me. 我对他们的耐心是非常的感谢。As a child and a young adult, I grew up in the church, so I always thought that I was in the church. 嗯，在我从小就在教会里面长大，所以我想我就是教会中间的一员。Even later in life, when I stopped attending for many years. 嗯。在我后面的一些时间里面，我其实我很长时间没有去教会。When I started coming back to church, I didn't like what my pastor was saying. 当我回到教会的时候，我其实一点都不喜欢那些啊、uh, 牧师所讲的。He talked about sin and repentance. 那个牧师讲罪和悔改。He seemed to be questioning my salvation, and I didn't like that. 他对我的救恩提出疑问，我一点也不喜欢。Many Sundays, I left church, telling my wife that I wasn't going to go back. Ah,、uh, 很多的周日，当我离开教会的时候，我跟我太太说，我再也不回来了。But still, members of my small group continued to show kindness and love for me. 但是我的小组里面的组员，虽然我这样的背逆，他们一直来爱我，一直来关心我。And over time, that made it possible for God's love and kindness to break through my hard heart. 随着时间的推移，神的爱和真理慢慢的刺透了我的心。And I began listening, really listening to what God was trying to tell me. 那我就开始真正的来聆听上帝所教给教导我的。呃、uh, ，The Central Florida Presbytery met recently at our church. 啊，这中佛罗里达呃长老会
During our worship time together, our guest speaker was helping us to understand the need for a different context in our evangelism. As we evangelize different people in our communities, we hope they seek to experience community right here in our churches. He spoke of a concept called belonging before believing. My brothers and my sisters in my small group gave me a sense of belonging to a sweet community that was so different from the church I'd grown up with. And God used them before I truly believed. They helped me to feel like I belonged before I believed. They waited for me just like God waited for me. Here's the thing about waiting. Waiting is not inaction. Waiting is an action. It's not always easy to distinguish the weeds from the wheat, but ultimately that's not our job. In verse 30, Jesus tells us the instructions he'll give to the reapers of the harvest. He tells them, gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. And in verse 39, he goes on to tell us, the angels are the reapers. This story is not intended, intended to tell us that God wants to burn the weeds. Our loving Father takes no delight in sending anyone to hell. If that were the case, he would have given up on all of us by now. The real point here is about waiting. God allows us plenty of time before Jesus returns and judges the world. Second Peter 3.9 tells us this, The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promises as some count slowness, slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. God waits on his people. In his kingdom, even some of the weeds will be transformed. Waiting can be very frustrating sometimes, though. I have an old friend that is going through a separation from his wife that may end up in divorce. He's reached out to me in this difficult time, and over the past seven or eight months, I've been sharing the gospel with him. And I've shared ways that God has healed my marriage to my wife. And also ways that he's actually changed my life. As we're talking, sometimes it seems like he really wants the free gift that God is offering him. And sometimes he just doesn't seem to even care. I understand that his situation is really painful. 
我知道这个等待的过程确实是一个很苦、很苦的一个过程。And sometimes his pain causes him to not think clearly. 在他的过这个离婚的这个过程当中，因为这些苦难使他不能够正常的来清晰的来思考。It's been incredibly difficult for him to let go and give over his pain to the one who can really heal his pain. 对他来说，能够把他的这个苦难交给那些、呃、那一位能够使他医治他苦难的这位耶稣基督是非常困难。I'm not always as patient as I should be with him. 有时候我没有应该像我应该的那样耐心的来对他。I just want to fix him. 我就是想把他改变过来。And I often think that I know exactly what he needs. 我以为我知道他确确实实需要什么。Ultimately, of course, he does need Jesus Christ in his life, but that's not going to happen through my imperfect timing. 当然，他最终是需要耶稣基督的来救赎，但是不是根据我自己给他定的时间。If it happens, it's going to be through God's perfect timing. 如果他这样会发生的话，这是根据神完全的时间表。Like to move on to the next point, Jesus fights the weeds in his church. 我们。这样来讨论第二点是耶稣基督在他的教会里面来拔出那些败子。So we see here that Jesus isn't just telling us a story about farming. 我们知道耶稣基督在这里并不能并不是在说这个种麦子的事情。When he's able to get away from the crowds, his disciples ask him to explain the parable. 嗯，当他离开这个群众的时候，呃，他的门徒就让他来解释这个呃比喻。And Jesus began his explanation of this spiritual meaning of this parable by, complain, com, by comparing the wheat field to his church. So Jesus Christ 就给他们介绍了这个属灵的含义，把就是用这个嗯天国这个稗子的比喻来给他们解释。In verses thirty-seven, thirty-eight, he says this. 在三十七节和三十八节，他这样说。The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, and the good seed is the children of the kingdom. 那少好种的就是人子，田地就是世界，好种就是天国之子。Jesus often talked about himself as the son of man. 耶稣基督经常把自己比喻成人子。So Jesus is talking about himself as the one who sowed the good seed. 所以耶稣基督说他自己就是那些撒好种的人。And he says the field is the entire world. So he says the field is the entire world. Whatever Jesus is saying here crosses all borders and transcends all cultures. When Jesus Christ says this, it is including all cultures and all places. When we just took the Lord's Supper up here, we talked about the children of the kingdom. The children are those who believe in Jesus as their Savior. 当我们在呃领圣餐的时候，我们讨论讨论，我们说到、呃、神的儿女，而神的儿女就是相信耶稣基督的人。And with these words, Jesus is stating that He will establish His church throughout the entire world. 通过说这句话，耶稣基督告诉我们，他自己就是在整个世界上建立教会的人。This has all been pretty good news so far, but nothing in this sinful world remains untouched by sin. 听起来这故事到这儿还是挺好的，但是在这个世界上没有没有哪个教会不被罪所啊、um, 污染。Jesus continues at the end of verse thirty-eight. 所以耶稣就在三十八节说 ，The weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. 所以稗子就是那恶者之子，而撒稗子的仇敌就是魔鬼。He's telling us that the devil comes and infiltrates the church. Just as this darnel rye that we talked about looks, acts, and grows like wheat, 就像我们刚才所说的稗子一样，它长得特别像麦子。These unbelievers may look like Christians and act like Christians. 那些不信耶稣基督的人，他们可能做起事来就像基督徒一样。But they're not Christians; they're hypocrites. 他们是假冒伪善的，他们不是基督徒。In this parable, Jesus tells us that every church has hypocrites that are sons of the devil. In this passage, Jesus tells us that every church has hypocrites that are sons of the devil. Look back to when Jesus was here on earth. We look back to when Jesus was here on earth. We look back to when Jesus was here on earth. We look back to when Jesus was here on earth. We look back to when Jesus was here on earth. We look back to when Jesus was here on earth. 
When Jesus sent out the disciples to do missions work among the lost sheep of Israel, Judas Iscariot was one of those disciples. Uh, he cast out demons and he preached the word of the kingdom of God. He was the treasurer among the disciples. They trusted him so much. They didn't realize that he was a weed until he betrayed our King Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. The early church also had its weeds. As the Apostle Paul took the gospel to the Gentiles, a group of weeds followed him wherever he went. They infiltrated the congregations that the Holy Spirit had established through Paul. And they tried to teach that the ceremonial law must be fulfilled before Jews could become Christians. There's an old saying, where the God builds the church, the devil builds a chapel. Very often, the greatest dangers, the greatest damage to the church is done by those who are members of this earthly institution. But those that aren't members of the invisible church of all believers. It was mentioned earlier that I'm the director of global missions at my home church in Palm Bay. Our global missions team looks for places where God is at work building his kingdom. And we work to establish partnerships with those who are doing the work of building the kingdom by planting new churches. It's been so exciting over this past, past month to get to know your pastor Ben a little bit and understand his heart. Hear about his desire to work in China to build God's church. And he wants to establish these churches and develop new leaders so that they can do the work of God and multiply their efforts making disciples of Christ. Our team is really excited about opportunities to partner with Ben as he goes back and forth from China. But the work of global missions can be very messy sometimes. We have several partners in India right now that are doing great works for God. And we've been warned by some of them how hard it is to find good and trustworthy partners. We hear about these church leaders that are so intent on improving themselves and trying to improve their living that they'll do almost anything. They make claims about all they're accomplishing in these churches and they're hoping for more and bigger gifts for their ministries. I've even heard stories of them changing the signs on their buildings depending on who's coming to visit. 
。有时候他们看到各种教机构到他们教会来参加参观的时候，他们就把他们教会的这个标志给改一下。When the Baptists come, it's a Baptist church. 当浸信会过来的时候，他们就是浸信会。When the Methodists come, they put a different sign out. 卫理会过来的时候，他们把他的教会的标志改一下。How tragic that as we try to be good stewards of God's money, that these men are doing these things in their in the church. 我们尽我们的努力成为神的好管家，而那些人在用神的国度来为自己的谋利的时候，这个情况是多么的让人可悲。There can be no doubt that there are weeds in God's church. In God's kingdom, these people are without doubt weeds. But let's look a little further in Matthew at what God has to say about this. Let's look a little further in Matthew at what God has to say about this. Let's look a little further in Matthew at what God has to say about this. Let's look a little further in Matthew at what God has to say about this. Let's look a little further in Matthew at what God has to say about this. Let's look a little further in Matthew at what God has to say about this. Let's look a little further in Matthew at what God has to say about this. Let's look a little So Jesus is speaking to Peter, and he says, "I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it." Jesus 基督告诉彼得说，我要把我的教会建在这磐石上，阴间的权柄不能胜过它。This little section of this verse is so rich with kingdom applications. 这一节经文对呃神国的这个概念是非常非常的多。What an incredible promise Jesus is making here. 神耶稣基督在这边有了一个非常的啊。He's telling us who is going to do the work, what the work is, whose work it is, and the most important promise, the certainty of that work. He 应许彼得谁会做这样的工作，这是一个什么样的工作？他给彼彼得保证这个工作的成功。There's no question here. We know that our Lord Jesus cannot lie. 我们知道我们的主耶稣基督是不可能说谎的。So if we believe that Jesus is who He says He is, we can be certain that He will finish this work. If we believe Jesus is who He says He is, we can be certain that He will finish this work. If we believe Jesus is who He says He is, we can be certain that He will finish this work. If we believe Jesus is who He says He is, we can be certain that He will finish this work. If we believe Jesus is who He says He is, we can be certain that He will finish this work. If we believe Jesus is who He says He is, we can be certain that He will finish this work. If we believe Jesus is who He says He is, we can be certain that He will finish this work. It's reassuring to me that we can't mess it up. Um, so I believe we can't mess it up. Even greedy men who deceive us by misrepresenting themselves as Even greedy men who deceive us by misrepresenting themselves and their work can't mess it up. Even greedy men who deceive us by misrepresenting themselves and their work can't mess it up. Even greedy men who deceive us by misrepresenting Kingdom building continues to move forward. 虽然他们会呃在我们神国的建筑上面会有一点缺陷，但是我们整个一个建筑、整个的一个施工不会被他们所摧毁。And Jesus never promises that the work won't be messy. 耶稣基督也从来没有应许我们整个世界不会一团糟。But he does promise that none of these things are a surprise to him, and there's nothing that he can't overcome. 但是他告诉我们，所有的这些事情对他来说都一点好，一点都不让他惊奇，而且他会啊、uh, 把这些事情完全的修正过来。I read an article just this week entitled "When Evil Overplays Its Hand." 啊、um, ，我今这这周得了一本得了一本书，名字叫《When Evil Overplays Its Hand》。The writer is a personal friend of a pastor in Egypt. 所以啊， uh, 这。作者是在啊、um, 希腊啊、uh, 埃及的一个啊、uh, 牧师。And he's this pastor was broken-hearted by the beheadings of 21 Egyptian Christians recently. 啊、uh, ，这个牧师因为最近二十一个呃埃及的基督徒被砍头这件事情，他是非常的啊、uh, 悲伤。This brutal act was very personal for him. 这个砍头事件对他来说是呃、uh, 非常的个人化，跟他有非常多的关系。But through his great faith, he shared the hope that even this tragedy would backfire on those responsible. Um, he shared that even this tragedy would backfire on those responsible. Um, he shared that even this tragedy would backfire on those responsible. Um, he shared that even this tragedy would backfire on those responsible. Um, he shared that even this tragedy would backfire on those responsible. 
，啊，这个他的见证告诉告诉我们，人本来就是一个罪人。虽然那些在啊呃恶人们虽然有时会得胜，有时会猖狂，但是他们最终他们不可能来战胜我们的上帝。我们的上帝最终会被摧会摧毁他们。I won't read this today, but I encourage you this week to read the book of Esther. 我呃今天不会这么读，但是我呃鼓励大家。In Esther, Haman desires that the entire Jewish race be wiped out off the face of the earth. In Esther, in the end, Haman wants to wipe the entire Jewish race out. But in the end, Haman's evil plan backfires on him. But in the end, Haman's evil plan backfires on him. But in the end, Haman's evil plan backfires on him. And he is executed by the very device that he builds to execute others on. He himself is put on the altar for the Jews to build on. I've asked a partner of ours in India how he feels about the persecution that his ministry experiences. I asked him how he feels about the persecution that his ministry experiences. I asked him how he feels about the Radical Hindus have sometimes come and burnt down churches and killed pastors and families. Ah, Hindu Jew extremist groups, they sometimes will burn down churches, burn down pastors, and kill pastors. He remains fully convinced that God will use these things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that pastor believes that God will use these evil things, these evil things, even these evil things, to grow the church. Ah, that In the eternal scheme of things, this is a resounding win. No matter how things look, God wins, and no one can rewrite the end of that story. Well, I find, I'll translate it a little bit. Ah, 当那些被啊被吓唬或者是啊被逼迫的那些人，当他们在受死的时候，他们不会否认神的，否认他们的信仰，否认耶稣基督的名。这就是一个胜利。在啊永恒的事情当中。这就是一个胜利，不管事情是怎么，嗯、呃，看起来怎么样，神都已经战胜了，没有人能够重新来改写，呃，神的，呃，历史，啊、呃，神在这个世界上的计划，神在这个世界上的故事。So our role is not to eliminate all the weeds from the field, but on behalf of our masters to, to sow good seed. 所以我们的工作并不是是把那些败子给拔出来，而是根据我呃按照我们的呃呃主人的意思，我们在这个世界上做好的麦子。Let's continue on with the third point. We can we continue to fight the weeds of our hearts. 我们走到第三点，就是我们自己来啊、呃、跟我们内心的败子征战。This parable. Is meant to convey a heavenly meaning. It's an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. This, uh, parable is a earthly parable, but it has a heavenly meaning. It tells us that there will be a time when God's judgment is pronounced and when justice is served. When he says that when God's justice is pronounced and when justice is served, the weeds and the wheat will be separated and dealt with according to God's plan. According to God's plan. Look back to Matthew 13:40. It says, "Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so will it be at the end of the age." In Matthew 13, verse 40, it says, "Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so will it be at the end of the age." Satan is constantly prowling, looking for someone to destroy. Satan is constantly prowling, looking for someone to destroy. 呃，魔鬼总是四处的寻寻衅，想找那些要摧毁的人。He's a constant force that tempts us to evil, tempts us to sin. 他总是来引诱我们去做一些邪恶的事情，去犯罪。Church leaders are all too aware of those who would try to create disunity in the church. 我们教会的领袖要对那些破坏教会合一的那些人要特别的警醒。Possibly even causing a church to split. 
Men in the church get sucked into viewing pornography. And as they treat their women as sexual objects, they may even convince their women to share in this sinful act. Because of the presence of sin in our lives, most of us, I'm one of them, suffer from impatience or discontent. The presence of sin tempts us to gossip about others or it causes us to make selfish choices. Choices that put money and material things above God's kingdom and His righteousness. Why do I mention these things? Because these are things that leaders in the church see every week. But Jesus offers us a word of hope and a word of caution. He tells us that ultimately God will have justice and he'll deal with even evil and sin. In Matthew 13 again, verses 41 through 42, he says, The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all the causes of sin and all lawbreakers, and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Are some of you thinking, does he mean me? We all know that we've been hypocrites just like the disciples have. Someone once said, saying that the church is full of hypocrites is like saying that the hospital is full of sick people. So really, it's kind of normal for true wheat to ask, Lord, are you talking about me? If you're a believer, you're all too aware of your sins and your failings. But look at the contrast here in these verses. Evil doers are the weeds, the righteous are the wheat. The good news is that Jesus died for all sinners, and that includes hypocrites. He invites all hypocrites to come for healing, all of us. And there's nowhere else that hypocrites can go to receive this healing. There's nowhere else that hypocrites can be transformed and have that hypocrisy turned into righteousness. That's the comfort that we receive in the gospel. We learn that Jesus suffered and died on the cross for all sin, but Jesus did not remain in the grave. He rose again and offers us that gift of forgiveness for life in Him and salvation in Him. The Holy Spirit quietly goes along 
goes about the miracle of transforming weeds into wheat right here in the church. 就在此时此刻，圣灵就在我们当中做工，把稗子变成麦子。And he creates and builds our faith, our deeper faith in Christ. 这些圣灵在我们当中建立神从嗯建立耶稣对耶稣基督的信心。He converts the sons of the devil into sons of God. 耶稣基督和圣灵把嗯地狱之子变成了神的儿女。It's not about our efforts. Nothing we can do can make us deserving of His grace. This 跟我们的呃努力一点没有关系。我们没有可能通过自己的努力来做成这件事情。But as we trust in Him, we get the best exchange ever. 当我们相信耶稣基督的时候，我们就有了最美妙的变化。He takes away our sins and He gives us His righteousness. 这种交换使耶稣基督把我们的罪拿走，换给我们他的公义。Jesus ended his parable with the end of all things. Ah, Jesus, Jesus, um, 在最后提到，呃， When the wheat matured, it was time for the harvest. At the end of the parable, Jesus said, "The harvest is the close of the age." Jesus, Jesus, 说到在这个最后末世，世界的末了，就是啊，丰收的时候。This is the time of judgment, and for most of us, the day of judgment will come at our earthly death. 当对于呃我们来说，最终的这个审判，就是我们在这个，呃，这种审判就是我们在离开这个世界的时候。But some Christians will live until the end of the world. 有些呃基督徒他可以活到足够长，直到这个世界的末了。如果他们幸运的话。Along with some non-believers, in either case, those who refuse God's gift of forgiveness of His life and His salvation will. Be gathered up and thrown into the eternal fires of hell. 那时候也同样有那些没有相信的人在这在啊跟他们在一起。这时候上神的审判来临的时候，那些败子就会收就会被捆起来，然后放到火里去烧。Jesus is giving us a solemn warning here about what lies ahead for those who are not His people. 耶稣基督在这里给给那些不是属于他的人的一个很明显的一个警告。Just as you wouldn't want any weeds spoiling your gardens or your window boxes, there's no room in God's kingdom for those who are evil doers. 就像我们，嗯，对那些摧坏、嗯毁坏我们，嗯蔬菜园的这些杂草一样，在神的国度里面，神也不会让那些败子来存在。Sin and sinners would be out of place in that place of perfect holiness. 嗯，罪人和是在，嗯。神的至圣的国度里面是不属于神至圣国度的。Jesus ends this parable and says, "Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father." 耶稣基督在最后说，义人在他们父的国度里面要发出光来，像太阳一样。On that day of judgment, those who have the gift of faith that the Holy Spirit created in their hearts will have the righteousness that Jesus created. And earned for them on the cross. 当在审判的时候，那些在啊、uh, 心里被圣灵啊、uh, 建立对耶稣基督信心的时候，耶稣基督在他们里面就有耶稣基督的公义。The wheat will share in His glory, a glory that shines like the sun. 而我们这些麦子就像在啊、uh, 在神的国度里面就要发出光来，像太阳一样。Jesus will share all three all things with them. His kingdom and his father will be their father. Jesus, Jesus, 跟他们分享一切，分享一切。他的父就是他们的父，他的国就是他们的国。How incredibly exciting that is! 想到那些是多么的让人兴奋。Rather than being part of an organized plan to uproot and wipe out the weeds, like any sensible gardener might. Instead, we get to participate and witness the transformation of wheat weeds into wheat. Um, we, not, sometimes we are not like those who pull the weeds out. We are in God's kingdom. We can see those weeds together and see the weeds being transformed into wheat. This is a wonderful experience. As we grow as Christians together in this world. 
we get to share God's word and see its redeeming and powerful effects, powerful effects in the lives of others. So, as we are Christians, we need to spread the gospel. We can see the gospel through the lives of these pagans, turning them from pagans into pagans. What a glorious kingdom we serve in! We serve in a glorious kingdom. As we see the weeds in the world and in the church and in our own hearts and in our lives, we can trust that Jesus knows exactly what He's doing. When we see in this world, in our church, and even in our hearts, these weeds, we have such a confidence that Jesus knows what He's doing. Jesus is building His kingdom through His church. Jesus is building His kingdom through His church. Jesus is building His kingdom through His church. And he wants imperfect followers to help him as they continue to grow and to be more like him. He wants us to help these who are not perfect and who are following him to become more like him. Let's pray. 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 The word that transforms our lives, that takes us from our evil inclinations, takes us from being weeds in your kingdom to wheat that's going to shine forth in your kingdom. 亲爱的主耶稣，亲爱的天父，我们感谢你给我们的话语，你的话语把我们呃这样的转变过来，主啊，你把我们嗯从稗子转变成你天国里面的麦子。Help us all to be excited, Lord, as we see Your kingdom grow. When we see Your kingdom grow, Lord, you put a joy in our hearts. 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 Lord, you And we look forward, Lord, in hope to that day when you will make us perfect sons of God. We hope that one day, when we are perfect, you will make us perfect sons of God. We hope that one day, when we are perfect, you will make us perfect sons of God. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. In Jesus' precious name, Amen.